Okay, here it is. First time ever having the cows in the barn. I just got them up here with some grain. I've started to train most of them to grain. And uh, I think that's either most or all the cows up here. And I, I could not be happier. Half a million dollars well spent here. They are gonna have a place that is free of the snow and the wind. Half these cows are still wild though. Crazy, crazy cows. There they go. There they go. There we go. That's it. Run away. Run away, dumbasses. And then the ones that are tame are stopping and they go, wait a second here. Why are we panicking? There's grain and really high quality Timothy back here. And they'll come back. But um, it's not done done yet, but it's done enough to be usable. They are now have uh, the ability to confine them in here and to feed them in here. There's still lots of little details like the doors and painting and but I'm glad that this, the main part of the stress of building this barn is over. There were times this summer I thought it was gonna overwhelm me. The number of details and the amount of money that I was hemorrhaging on this building was, well, there was times I wasn't quite sure I was gonna be okay. Um, still a few moments like that. I got a call from the plumber today. They want $50,000 to turn the heat on in this barn, which I'm just not gonna spend because at $7 a dollar a pound hanging weight beef, I'd be 90 before I ever got my money back. So I'm gonna try to find some other alternatives, maybe some used boilers or something. Uh, but even without heat, this barn is still a hell of a space. And uh, they now have a place to, dry, to lay that's dry and that will have a concrete floor no matter what. It will not be mud. I will, I will not watch my calves die in the mud this year, no matter what happens. Oh, sorry, it just always gets me just thinking about the stress of that last year. And so it was worth, it was worth spending the money on this thing. So. I'm pretty stoked that I've got a usable working barn now and I, I just can't ranch in Alaska without it. So we're gonna move on to back to farming here and uh, a little bit less of building. All right, there it is. There's my cattle barn. Pretty cool, huh?